Alright. Fuck you. You start this one out. I am? Yeah. Welcome to We Three Gamers, The Talk with Colin and Max. Episode 3. Three. 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 Making it a big time. Uh-huh. Nobody's watched the first two yet. This is our biggest, uh... That was my drink. Drank. Hey, turn that. Turn what? Turn that. Turn down for what? Because you don't want to turn this. Oh, alright. <laughs> what is, uh... Um... What are we talking about today? We're talking about... What do you want to start out with? Movies, TV shows, Movies. music. Yeah, I'm gonna think of more shit. TV shows. What's your favorite movie? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, favorite movie? To tell you the truth, I really. This is gonna be a hard one for me. I wanna say Boondock Saints. Do you remember that movie? I remember that movie. That movie was pretty. You were fucking obsessed with that movie. I don't wanna say that. I don't <laughs> know. I, I haven't seen any recent movies, so I can't wait really Because I've heard a lot of people like, oh my god, these new movies are amazing. So I can't. If I say... I don't remember... I don't remember Yeah, but what movie? I don't know, like any... I haven't seen... I, I haven't seen any movies lately. The latest movie I think I've seen in theater was... Holy crap. The Grey. <laughs> I think it was The Grey. I just watched that on Netflix by the time I was over. Yeah, that that's, was... So that's... Oh, that's been that a was like 2012, I think, when that came out. In theaters. The last movie I saw in theaters was, uh, I can't remember. I cannot for the life of me remember what the fuck I like. Is that movie. sad though? Like, that's how long ago I've seen the movie. I don't, it's not that I don't leave my house, it's just, what's the point when I can... Going, than, going to the movies is like a very rare occasion. It's too expensive now. It is. Going to the movies and spend like $47 on popcorn and drink. I didn't see. Well, even if you money. don't get a snacks and shit, a ticket a piece is like twelve bucks. That's if you go to a nice theater though. You can go to the fucking the like, crappy one. You can yeah. go to the one at the mall. I get a ticket for like five bucks. That's the only thing keeping the mall open. It's a <laughs> shit theater, yeah, because that mall. Is if you so live bad. anywhere near us, like Bowling Green or Toledo, you know what mall we're talking about. Actually, there's two of them around us that are really shitty. There's one Which in. One? You know where I like know. Sears and shit is? Like that Sears, the mall that has like Sears and Andersons in the movie theater. That's it. I'm horrible with And the movie theater direction. literally literally the ceiling's like caving in, there's like pieces dangling off. I'm like, that's mm-hmm. the only time I've been there, well apparently I've been there more than once, but I don't remember it. But the last time I was there I was with an ex girlfriend of mine. And like the whole time I was trying to watch the movie, I was like looking at the ceiling like, this thing's not gonna collapse, right? <laughs> I was freaking out. Speaking of collapsing movie theaters, I remember gra- my uh, grandpa told me a story back when he was in a was in the Navy or some shit. And they were in a movie theater. I don't know where, but he was he didn't do Shit. He was on aircraft carriers. He didn't do fucking anything, but he said, one of the places they stopped, they're at a movie theater, and there was a fucking earthquake in, while they were watching this movie. That sucks. I don't know the details about it, but he told me that there was an earthquake while they were watching a movie, and I was like, oh, that sucks, man. He was like, oh, yeah. But, uh, I still, I'm, I'm trying to remember the last movie that's on theaters. I think it was, uh, it might have been the, uh, God, I know this isn't the last movie I saw, but the only one I can remember is, uh, the fourth kind? Or the fourth fucking, the, the alien movie? Yeah, yeah it came out, like, forever that, That's ago. the only one that I can remember seeing. I know I've seen, like, a, like more movies after that, but... Dude, it's just so sad I haven't gone to the movies it's, in forever. It's been a long time. We should go sometime. <laughs> Shout out if you want to go to the movie. Don't, <laughs> don't talk to me. <laughs> but... I don't know. Like the gray was a really good movie. The ending was kind of cool. The ending was. Okay, I didn't like. Did it. you did you watch all the way through the credits though? Cause it there was it was one of those movies where something happened happened in the credits, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. See, I turned it off after. What What's the last part you saw? When he fucking ran at the, at it. Yeah. So I thought the ending, the very ending of it, is he's laying on the wolf as it's taking its final breath. Like its head's resting. They're both like dying. Hmm. So it's like. The king. Well, what is it? Like, what's the, the hair of a alpha pack? male? Alpha male. Yeah, the alpha male dying and he dying. Which he was like the alpha male of the people. Like he, I don't know. He's kind of like a loner all in like his life, I guess. And then that you movie know, was fucking scary, though. I don't. It was kind of depressing. I don't know. Really. I don't know. Like the beginning and shit. That was like that. Guys, let's walk this way. Hopefully, we're walking in the opposite Dude, direction. Dude, those wolves were fucking huge. Did you really get that big? What? Did they really get that big? I don't think so. I hope not. Those things are fucking big like they were about as tall as the camera like down four feet like fucking jeez <laughs> I'd be scared just I'm very large I'm gonna be like dude I'm done I, that's, I don't know movies movies I, I don't know I couldn't help but laugh though when the guy fell out of the tree right the part of the gym crowd he's, he's, like, he's like out of the tree and he falls and like breaks his leg and I'm like well if she, 
That guy's fucked. You're shit out of luck. <laughs> Guess you're shit out of luck. <laughs> um, I don't know, but any other movie you like really enjoyed? Like, no, okay, you know what pisses me off about movies? The ending's always good. Most of them, 80, I want to say at least probably 80% of the movies ever made, good ending. What, what's so bad about that? It's because <laughs> if you're in the beginning of a movie, you're just kind of like, like, I, sometimes I think, and I'm like, this guy's going to win. No matter what he comes across, like, he can be like, oh, so I'm you, going across a hundred foot dude. So you know the ending right off the bat. Yeah, because, you know, you're just kind of like, he's going to win. And when when they throw a bad ending, you're like, holy shit, I didn't see that. Last movie I saw in theaters, I just remembered it. It was, uh, oh, fuck. It's, uh, god damn it. It was, uh, oh, shit. It was something about, uh, uh, Mickey no, Cohen mean. in, like, 1930s L.A., he was, uh, oh, fuck, what's it called? Can you look that up? You got the laptop. Uh, uh, I don't even know. What did you say? Uh, Mickey Cohen 1930s LA movie? I don't fucking know. It was something about that. It was, uh, Gangster Squad. That's what it was. Gangster Squad. Fuck. Last movie yeah. I saw in theaters was Gangster Squad. That movie was fucking sweet. You told me to watch it. It was it really, really cool. I really wanted to watch it. Yeah, a bunch of cops, and then they, like, Stop being cops, and they go and like start shooting up gangs. Well, it was for a good reason, though. I yeah, think. because they like created this squad where they went and like they were supposed to be like off the grid, and they're like, "Oh, you can kill all these people." Like, oh. Oh, so they're supposed to be like, yeah. I'm getting this from you. Okay, I don't know if this is right, but they're like, "Oh, hey, we don't have to abide by the laws if we're gangsters or whatever." Yeah. So, so they, they just go kill all the bad people. They like kind of like boondock saints. They got how rid they're of the like, badges. They're like boondock saints. So, you know how they're like, "Oh, we're gonna go kill all the bad guys." They're not killing good guys. They're killing bad guys. But they're doing a, a like above the law because they're not getting caught doing it, and they don't have to abide by the law. They're just like, hey, you're bad, you're fucking dead. That's the reason I like that movie so much. It's not not because they're heroes, but because they're doing something because they believe in it, kind of, without having to worry about laws. And I shit. haven't I haven't seen that movie in fucking forever. So, well, it's just about two brothers. The third one, I'm not third. One. The second one. Wasn't I don't know I didn't like that one as much just because it was they were like oh we're gonna be funny about this and the first one was like perfectly mount funny and serious all in one but two was every little chance they get that's not killing is hilarious that's what they try to do with it and that's just not good you know you gotta I have those you. serious moments where mm -hmm. they're not killing I uh I'm trying to think of a movie it's uh God I am just drawing a blank here I can't remember anything it was a uh, movie. They were gangsters, and it was fucking 19... It was, like, another, like, 19, like, 50 gangster thing. But it was... They weren't... Oh, the they were talking about York. Gangster Squad again. It was, no, it wasn't Gangster Squad. It was, uh, Goodfellas. That's what it was. That movie. I seen that I, dude, I That's suck. That's a long... It's, like, a two and a half That's hour like, movie. um, The Godfather. I've never seen that. I, I haven't know. seen The Godfather. It's People, like, uh, like... There's always one boring part where you just kind of, like, stop watching it, because they're so long. The first one's, like, There's, like, three parts to that movie. So, and each one is like two hours long. So I was like, yeah, my brother said like the first one was like three hours long. And he's like, he didn't even finish the first one because at one part it gets really boring and you're just kind of like, I'm done. Yeah, see, Goodfellas is kind of like, a, it's it's the same gist as like The Godfather basically, but it's all of like the action from The Godfather. One movie. Instead of sit around and talk. Yeah. I like it. There's good, it there's good too, movies so. where there is sit around and talk because that's like, that's another thing that pisses me off is when it's all action. Like, Fast and the Furious. I'm sorry, I hate... I grew up loving the Fast and Furious, you know that. Me and my dad, before my mom and dad got divorced, I love watching the movie with them. That's the reason I love it so much, because I grew up watching it with my dad. And I just, like, love the whole, it's about cars, and it's about street racing and stuff. Then, now it's action, 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 constantly. They're working for the good guys. They're yeah, like, good guys. fucking... They they're not, like, there's nothing street racing about it. They went from street racing to, like, driving cars out of, like, AC-130s and shit. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, like, I've never seen Yeah, okay, it's not like, like, every, they started every kid's street racing, now they're fucking doing stupid shit, like. For, like, the government and shit. Yeah, it's like, okay, so you, you guys were so criminal that you guys turned good. That's pretty much what the ending of the movie was. You guys were, that's what they said at the end of the movie or something. They were like, oh, you guys were so good, you guys were so bad, and you started out stealing DVDs out of the back of trucks, and now you guys are. What the fuck? You never heard about that? That's no. how they started out, they were stealing DVDs out of the back of semi-trucks. Like, they're... You haven't seen the first one forever. No, I haven't seen... Any. See, the first one was good because they were criminals, and the whole gist of it was there was an undercover cop trying to like, get them, which is Brian. We haven't said anything about the fucking... the shit in front of us. Oh, these aren't ours. Well, they are ours. Now. Decoration. They are decoration. They're broken. They're not broken. They do work. <laughs> we just don't have blood junk because we have... 
We have this one's got a nice sharpie job on it. <sighs> we didn't do that. We didn't do that. We wouldn't do that. Bought it like that. I was gonna draw Wii Three Gamers on my controller because I have a white controller. I wanted to draw on my Xbox and then I don't know. You told me you were going to, and now the guy wouldn't. You got butt hurt. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. Like, okay, look at the Nintendo, my Super Nintendo. Oh, that's what we should got. We should have those laying in front of it. The Fuck these. Super Nintendo and the, and the original Nintendo. Nintendo. You want me to like snatch it up right quick? Nah, we'll do it next video. Alright. Yeah, we'll bring that in. yeah, we'll bring that in for the next video. We can... Episode four. Episode four. Dude, what if nobody watches these? Fuck, we're gonna have to record that. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so well, Okay, back okay, back to what I was trying to say. About movies is the good ending. Mm -hmm. There's always the good ending. Watchmen had a bad ending. Everything I mean, went to shit. I heard that movie was really, really good and I saw it. It's one of those long movies. movies. It's it's based on comics. I never could get that much in the comics just because my mind is realism. Like, how are we talking about video games? How yeah. realistic? That's another thing for movies is I want realism in, like, Gangster Squad and Boon Actually, That shit could... I mean, maybe they're not fully, oh, I'm gonna go around killing people, yeah. but, I mean, more than, hey, I fucking fucked up in a lab, got radiation, all radiation. No, radiation's not gonna give you fucking surprise. It's bullshit. And if it does, congratulations. Yeah. Come talk to me. You're part of the 1%. <laughs> Exactly, ninety nine percent of the people, you're dead. You're not yeah. gonna be. Like the episode of Family Guy where fucking asshole. Mayor West jumps into the radiation. He's like, uh, and he's in the hospital, and he's like, like uh, you got cancer. You have melanoma. It's like, oh, what did oh, you because, think was gonna happen when you jumped into that radioactive waste? He's like, I thought I would get superpowers. Because the Griffin got superpowers. Mm -hmm. I love how Meg was go there for her freaking Yeah, Meg's powers. She could grow. Her They're like, what is so like, scary about you? And she's like, and fucking scratch the guy. She's like, ah, ah really hurt. It's like, ow. She's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? But, yeah, Watchmen had a really good ending just because... That's the reason I don't, That's the only reason I like to watch the movie is because it was so serious in it. And they were trying to stop everything from happening and then something bad happened. Which I'm not going to spoil the ending because people... I really advise you go to watch a movie. It's a long movie. You have to stick with it. You're going to have to watch it. I, I have it on Blu-ray. I, I, remember, I remember watching like the beginning and like the bitch like with the protesters and shit and with like the flowers. Oh, and her getting shot. Yeah. That dude, that stuck with me because when that first movie came out, like, I watched it in theaters. And I just remember, like, cause that was fucking that real. That was, shit was real. Not yeah. the footage, obviously, but that really happened. And I'm pretty sure that when you were learning about that shit, that was like part of that shit that was happening with Vietnam. Because instead of Vietnam, like, the movie starts out with the superheroes coming to Vietnam instead of us losing it. We won it because we had the superheroes. And that's when shit got different. And like, cause you know, right after that movie, right after Vietnam, everybody fucking like split in different, like the future and like the present day now and the present day in that movie was different. Like technology was a shit ton different. Oh, so they were like kind of, they were like farther advanced. Yeah. I, I don't know how, because realistically we didn't lose much from that war, except for a lot of deaths because people don't like it, but I'm assuming we lost them anyways. What the fuck went on in Vietnam? We are dumb. There's some crazy shit. I feel like we were, uh, we just the old. other day in history, the one day I was actually paying attention, they were, uh, showing pictures of, like, the, like, the little rat holes that they would make, and some of these, like, entrances to these tunnels would be, like, they were, like, the width of, like, these two things, like, put together, but it was, like, a little bit longer, so you could fit just, like, one person down. I was like, that's, fuck, like, who the fuck does that? They would, like, they, do they 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 these tunnels holes. and shit? Because they, they, they fucked us just because they knew the land. Mm -hmm. They were they had shit. Uh, we just, we walked in there and we had no idea what to expect, and it was like, whoa. I mean, but no. that was the first we learned to. Now that, that we talk about we, uh, war and shit, we probably shouldn't talk about war because people are gonna be pissed. But how kids like, and I don't want to say kids because there's adults like this too. But once you hit adulthood, you realize it's not right. Every kid in history class, why didn't we nuke them? Yeah, they're always like, why don't we just nuke them? I'm like, you're gonna be the reason why the whole uh, world ends in a nuclear holocaust because you're like. Let's nuke them. I'm like, if you're going to nuke them, they're going to obviously see it coming. You know, this kind it's of... not like it happens right then. It's... You can see the muscle coming. <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing, my dad. Remember, it was, it was like two years ago. We were uh, watching something about the news of some, like, shit in Afghanistan. He's like, why don't we, uh... Why don't we just nuke them? I'm like, Dad, you can't just solve all your problems by dropping bombs on them. He's like, yes, you can. It's okay. He's a little dumb. It's all right. He's... No, it's not... He... Dumb, it's just, he had, uh... Like, okay, if we got nuked, the whatever got nuked, not usable for however long. 
And that's not worth it. Yeah, how long is it until fucking, um... I think at least 30 years or something like Chernobyl that. Chernobyl is still uninhabitable think, until, like, 20, like... No, we, you can go in there. Well, you can go in there, but it's, it's still, just like, There's still pockets of radiation. It's not... I mean, there's good chunks that are clear, but it's not like, oh, I can walk in there without a gas mask, and I'll be completely fine. You're going to come out with a couple of rads. I mean, your body automatically gives off radiation just because that's your body. Did you ever but, see, uh, Chernobyl Diaries? No. <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh... That's... No, I wanted to, but then I heard it was really dumb. Fucking horrible. It was, horrible. It was really good up until the ending. You want me to ruin the ending? Mm, sure. The fucking... Alright, so it's like, uh, you know, all this crazy shit's going on, they're running from, like, these radiated freaks, and then in the end, they get captured, and it's a group of scientists living under uh, Chernobyl, and they're, like, these Nazi scientists, like, radiating people on purpose. And they're like spreading them out, like so. It was like scientists radiating people and then like sending them out everywhere. And I was like, "What the fuck was that?" It was a really good movie. It was a really good movie. So it was at first you were thinking, "Oh, it's a whole bunch of people who got radiation. Now we're really fucked up." Which it was. I mean, it was kind of like that. But then it was scientists who moved in what? there and started like gathering. Wait, them is, all that, is that? Did they release that at the end, or do you know that all along? No, they, it was just up until it was a really good movie. Right up until the end, it hit the ending, and I was like. Worst movie ever. It was fucking. Really I hate really it when they do. There's mm. games that do that too. Yeah. Like oh, don't even. Yeah. yeah. Outlast. Out. <laughs> that was bad. That was a really good. I don't understand why he went in there. Though. I mean, he went in there to prove whatever. But I just think it's fun. Know. I just I always think about that. though, was like when you're driving up, like you know, your first mission, you're driving up, and you have no idea. Like at the end, you're like, wow, I was just fucking. I had no fucking clue this was gonna happen. That yeah, pisses me off. That he was trying to get out the whole time, but then he stayed there till the end got. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And bad ending. He was trying to get out, and then he's like, whoa, I don't want to figure out what's going on anymore. Like, dude, I, would kill. I couldn't ever go in some place by myself. I mean, even though, like, if it was like me and you, I couldn't do it. Like, realistically, people, I was like, I'd do it. I'd fucking, I'd survive the zombie apocalypse. I couldn't do anything. I'm like, you go do that until crazy you come by yourself. Yeah, that's... Because, you know, you know how you were fucking me? Well, not just you, but me and you were figuring out about opening every door in that game? Hmm. <laughs> Think about that 24-7. Even if you sit in a corner, what's going to pop out? Let's open the doors as slowly as possible. It does not. It's fucking horrible. I said that right at the beginning of that game. Open all the doors as slowly as possible. The first did door that once and screamed like a bitch five minutes into the game. It was horrible. <laughs> After that, I was like, that's it. I can't. You gave me the controller. Like, I'm done. You gotta, it's like, a, it's, you just gotta, like, get over. Just throw the door open as fast as you can and get it over with. Because if you go slow, it's gonna skizzle up and piss out of you. Yeah, because like, oh, and then you get halfway open the door because it, nothing think, happens until you get the door all I think open. they just give you that option so you can scare yourself even more. Pretty much. Hmm. I don't know. So, I am moving on to a new topic. This is a topic we're not going to be able to talk about that much. Just what? saying. But, comic book heroes. Comic book heroes? Who's your favorite? Like Spider-Man. Why? Explain why. He can, swim, he can swing around and shit. He's like the most normal. So? Well, the amazing Spider-Man, though, because the Spider-Man... Not the one that got bit by the spider and then could automatically shoot shit out of his hands, but the amazing Spider-Man was the one where he could... He got the ability to, like, climb on shit, but then he had to make, like, his own, like, web shooter shit. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. But yeah, I just um, think that'd be badass swinging around. Oh, fuck. I think it was... My favorite one was the Hulk. I don't know about now. Just because... Movies where they're like, oh, they grew up on a different planet, and now they're here, yeah, superhero. That bugs me. Mm-hmm. I mean, okay, maybe it's possible. I'm not saying it's not, but... How... Likely is that because if somebody was here and we didn't know about it, I feel like we'd know by now. Because in every movie, it's like, oh, nobody knows. Then you know something bad happens, and then everybody knows. It's like, okay, wouldn't something happen by now where we would know? Or they're just assholes because they're not doing anything about it. This, uh, That's why I want like shit like the Hulk. You know, do you, you ever hear how the Hulk started? Like I remember the movie. Yeah, like he was a scientist, and something went wrong. Like radiation or something. No, it wasn't radiation. It was just um. Something like, fucking happened. His like, dad was the Hulk, too. Spilled some fucking, like, orange juice on his tie or some shit. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember <laughs> how, but it was something about being... We should probably not talk about this because we suck at Yeah, it. no. But it was something about him in a lab. And that's why, like, Spider-Man shit, that was really cool. Because, I mean, maybe it's not going to happen, but maybe something did happen with the radiated spider or something. I mean, that's really... That's still kind of reaching. But it's more believable than... Than, uh... Like, Superman and like shit. living out in fucking Atlantis and shit. Yeah. Another one, just because I read it on here. Uh, dude, fucking, uh, why? Iron Man. Not because he's popular now, but I'm just saying, 
All was he's technology. Only, yeah, he's only a superhero because he's rich and he has technology. technology. That's the only reason which is... I mean, the rich thing kind of bitchy, but technology is not like, hey, I got what's, superhero, superhero powers. It's what's just, the, uh, you know, Batman. Batman was the other one. It's Iron Man and Batman who are both, they're only superheroes because they have money and technology. Yeah. They had... You no know, bothers me that they didn't come up with the money. It's their parents. Batman, I feel like, is the most believable superhero because he's a normal fucking person. Iron Man. Well, Iron Man. Has I mean, but he has fucking like that. rockets and shit. Well, that's because he made them. Yeah. Well, not really. I, he read, I can't see that. That, that movie. Flying around with that, shit. that movie pisses me off only because he has technology nobody else has. But people are like, oh, it's just because he's rich. I'm like, okay, well, if he's so rich, even companies now would have shit like that. But it's just like shit that's like unbelievable. Well, like oh, floating screens and shit. Like that's yeah. Bullshit. He's got like the holographic shit that he can like move around with his hands. Like that's there's no fun. We well, I mean, if you have like okay, like, that's kind of going back to like connect and shit. Like yeah, that's believable. If he's like, if you saw some kind of motion sensor, that's fine. Like even if he was looking at a TV and he's just moving his hand, because that's fine. But it's like he had floating TVs. So, like oh, move this page over here. And like if you had a touch screen computer with the other three screens, I want that rat screen computer. Yeah. Yeah, we're not gonna have yeah. time. No, yeah. <laughs> but because we always do that. But um, I don't know. Is it that's just the only thing that bugs me? Batman, really realistic except for it takes place in a big, big city, and that bugs me. Chicago. Chicago. That's what I mean. That's what our uh, fucking Arkham City is. Like. Or it's in New York. No, it's Chicago. Oh my! Google this shit right now. You have the computer. <laughs> they filmed that shit in Chicago. Which oh god, I love Chicago. That city's so sweet. Okay, talk for I can only imagine how fucking cold it is out there right now. Hmm. Well, what does the internet say, Kevin? I'm fucking busy. Yeah, yeah look up. Where did, uh... Where's Arkham City? Is that even the fucking name of it? I'm pretty sure it's Arkham City. Isn't it Gotham City? <laughs> Gotham City, that's where it is. Fuck. People are gonna get mad. Nobody's gonna get mad when we watch this shit. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Gotham City. That's what it is. What does the internet say? Chicago, right? Filmed in Chicago. <laughs> oh, it has like a million. New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, Pittsburgh, Newark, London. Newark. Where the fuck is Newark? Isn't that like Newark is a town in New Jersey? New Newark. New Jersey. No. New, new York. York. Newark is a new uh, the town in, in New, new York. York. Yeah. Why the fuck would they go? Why, mm, I don't know. Don't fucking. Never mind. We hit fucking track. Hmm. Which time do we have left? You wanna check? Yeah, I'll check. How's it going, bud? Uh, I think well, my phone's ringing. Let's see how much time we have left. We have 38 minutes left. We're 22 minutes in. Oh, quite the long video already, but. Okay, so are we are done with comics? Done with comics. I don't know when I can't. Comics. That's yeah, the thing that. That's not, not a comic book. Kind of we kind of started talking about this already. Last video, TV shows. TV shows. Me, I'm not saying. What's your favorite TV show as is right now? Right now? Yeah. Okay. Let's not do favorite. Okay. Let's do funny action and like what's the third one? Like random. Funny. Let's do funny action and overall. Um, and try not to do like. Oh god, that's gonna be hard. Um, favorite funny show? Either be... No, I gotta narrow it down to one. Yeah. South Park would be my favorite funny one. Jeopardy. <laughs> um... Favorite action-y kind of show? Probably be, uh, Future Weapons. What was that? Oh, Future... The dude, the, the dude that's like, oh, Future Weapons, like, the shy tech was on there. Yeah, the shy tech Dude, was on I there. remember watching the video. Some dude had it in his backyard, and he was fucking sitting on his balcony. You remember that? And he had, like, the little, uh, fuck, rangefinder on the side. And he's, like, typing it in. And he was, like, a legit GPS that was mounted on the side of the gun. And he was typing it in. That and then the gun so... would just fucking, like, adjust and shit. And that's really cool. That's the shy tech... <laughs> Shytech has its shitload. Shytech has its own like round. Yeah, it? the head, it's like the uh, 408, I think. Look it up. God, fuck. look it up. I'm pretty sure it's the 408. I don't know how to spell Shytech. Uh, see, you know, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, somebody keeps calling me. Uh, Collins is very popular. Hey, hey, fuck. What a joke. Uh, that's really bad. I spelled that really funny. 
Alright, favorite overall show? No, okay, now it's not. I can't find it now. Mm. <laughs> you see that? No, I'm gonna look it up. No, I'm gonna give it right back. No, come on. No, fuck you! Don't talk about it No, no, it's gonna take me two seconds. No, you talk about it. No. Right, I'm gonna give you my favorite overall show, and then you're gonna give me that, and then you're gonna talk about your show, and then I'm gonna give it right back. Alright, so, favorite overall show? I don't believe it. Treehouse Masters. The fuck it's is a that? fucking show where they build tree houses, Colin. Do you really like that show? That's all they build. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I've, I've not, I don't think I've they do. They build tree houses all day. Do you really I'm like that show? In, I'm gonna live in a tree house. Are you fucking with me, or are you just pissing me off? All right, maybe it's uh, <laughs> maybe man versus food. The show really? makes me hungry. That's why I can't. That's why I watch like fucking Food Network. It's food and they don't porn. get what? It's food porn. Food porn. It's food porn. That why Randy's jacking off. Yeah, Randy. Is there Randy? Yeah. Alright, what's it? Okay, so I said funny, right? You're not even looking at shy tech shit. Dumbass. I was. I had it open in a different tab, but um, shy tech favorite mm -hmm. funny, but I'd probably have to go to South Park. South Park. South Park is a really good shop. My phone is still ringing. <laughs> well, okay, so yeah, it's part of the 408. Okay, that's all I wanted. <laughs> that's I fucking wanted. knew it. <laughs> okay, I had to create their own bullet just for that gun. It's crazy. All right, yeah, South you, Park. What the hell, South Park? Favorite action? You think? I still feel like I like Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. I don't know why I like it so much. It's a really good show. It is. They had they build it really well. I saw the ending of the entire show. Mm -hmm. How is it over? Dude, yeah, that ended like two months ago. The whole show. The, the whole series. The whole series is over now. It ended like two months ago. That's sad. Or no, I think it ended in December. Or January. I didn't know it was over. Yeah, it's over. But I'm like, how many? How many more seasons? Are there? Like how many seasons? Are there? Like season. Six, I think. There's not that many seasons. They, oh, I, I know, guess but you, they're hour I long guess you episodes. can't. I can't. I guess you can't move too much from it because I was wondering how far they could go with it because all they keep doing is going to different drug dealers and now they're like their own drug dealer or something like that. Yeah, see, I, I saw know. season one. That's how season far two, I and then I saw the end. I don't want to bring that anymore. That sucks. I so I, I don't know. I guess I can't. I don't know. I don't watch much else. I mean, action movie, I really like Breaking Bad. That's a really good show, but now that it's over, I guess that's sad. Favorite overall? Favorite overall? Fudge. I forgot. <laughs> you forgot? Yeah. Um, Your shitty excuse, Colonel. Treehouse Prince. Oh, my God. That's what it was. Happy that show is fucking... That's fucked That show's messed up. All of it. Favorite movie? Rubber. Rubber? Go check out Rubber. If you watched an entire movie... I, comment on this video if you went and watched the entire movie. I I don't know. Hey, another thing I want to start just because I forgot to say this. All right, like our Facebook, check out our shirts, buy them, please. We're poor. <laughs> um, buy our shirts, like, comment, share, uh, favorite. subscribe, favorite. I guess whatever. Ten subscribers coming. Maybe even more. You never know. Who the fuck are our ten subscribers? Probably me. <laughs> I know. I subscribed. One. Brian. Brian. Probably my mom. No, I Probably your mom. I don't doubt it. I doubt it. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, whatever. Know. But, um... Rubber. Our 200th subscriber, we will give you a free shirt. Free shirt. 200th. 200. Two, Let's go one. create 190 accounts. I'll be okay with that. Us on all of them. And you have to watch 100 of our videos. And get a picture. We have like 12 videos out there. Oh. 21. Wait, 21. Wait, 21. We have 20. 22. Holy oh my shit. god. Oh my <laughs> god. That's. Oh. Wow. That's a benchmark right there. We need to make a 20 second video celebration. Can we make a 25? Let's make a 25. This is. Those are fireworks. Wait, I think this is our 25th. If we don't get a new video in Xbox, this might be our 25th. I think. Right? I think so. No, I don't know. Look at this shit. This is our 24th. This is our 24th? So our next one will be 25th. We gotta Check make it out. out. We'll make it out. We'll fucking we'll make a 25th one. If we can get 10,000 likes on our 25th video. 10,000? That's a lot to ask for. <laughs> we don't have any views. So. Mm. If we can get as many likes as per view. If we can get 10 likes. That is grand. Just tell your friends about us. I mean, we're watching it. It's, you're, I'm talking to you, Colin. Ass hat. Tell your friends. Don't Thanks. make. You should probably be doing homework or in class or some shit. I don't know. 
<laughs> you're probably sitting there at your computer. Fuck you. Right now, I'm probably <laughs> watching this on my computer right now. You watch our videos while you're doing work? Hello. How are you? <laughs> okay, so back to what we're doing. Is it warm in your room? I like to keep the heater on. You should go turn the heater off, though. You don't want to start a fire. <laughs> Music. Nice reminder. Ugh. I don't really want to talk about it. I like... The Faceless is my favorite band right now. What? Let's start with genre. Genre? Let's yeah. start with genre and then move in. There's so like, many different styles of metal. Well, let, let's not, like, let's kind of, let's just go metal. Like, let's go country rock. Like, because, you know, there's alternative rock, there's soft rock. All, right. all that shit. Rock is just one thing. Country is one thing. Country right, is, like, so stupid rock. Metal. metal favorite rap. genre. Well, let's just put rap and everything. Um, country is out of the question. I hate country music. I don't hate, there's, like, a couple of songs. You can't, you can't say there's, there's no country There's, like, song. maybe, like, one. You can't say there's, there's like, none. maybe one. I don't... I, I hate... I don't like it because... Music. No offense, but I don't believe in religion, so... And that's every single song is about God or something. I feel you. And I, it's not that... That I don't care. I mean, I'm not gonna be like, oh, country music dumb just because they say it. It's because they try to push it on you. That's what I hate about religion is they try to push it on you, so they push me away. an autotheist. The autotheist? It's, it's, uh... It's, uh, it's where you believe you are your own God. Some crazy shit like that. Should, should I'm done. To... I'm doing that. I'm I see. Honest. That's yes. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. That's why I don't like country music. I, I don't know. Country music and, they, like, lately, if you listen, if you listen to it, because my mom and people I know listen to it, if you listen to some of it, it's kind of turning into different kind of genres of music. And soon or later, they're going to ruin so much music. Because if you don't like country, the people that live around here were country people. I don't like listening to songs about your big trucks and your beers. Because you got a small dick. And your women. Well, I don't care. Like, I don't know. I just don't care if you got that shit. Just don't try to fucking push it on. No, that's the thing. I think that's my main thing is people pushing shit. I think that's... Maybe why... Do you think that's why we like video games? Is because people, people are like... Stay away from video games. Yeah, we live in an area where that's that's what it's about. You gotta have a, a big truck around that's here. That's really where we live. That's if really... Next if, time... If you don't have a big truck... If you, you've seen the fucking video, the DV, TV's videos... You know there, the, There's a railroad right in my backyard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how country we are, is there's a railroad in my backyard. <laughs> it's, uh, that's sad. That's kind of true. Like You're not going to be it. living in a city next to a railroad track. Shooting it with paintballs. The trains go by. No, we should do that. We should do that. I really want to do that. <laughs> if you're if you're trained enough to, I think we just admitted to that. <laughs> but uh, all right. What about hip hop? Uh, very Stop. white of me, but I like Eminem. Dude, that's why I hate. If people hate Eminem, but I don't know why. I, I'm, it's not because he's white. That's the reason I don't like him. I mean, that's not what I meant. That's <laughs> not because. That's not the reason that you like, like him. him. It's just yeah. because he's white. It's because of his music. I don't know. It's that, just, he doesn't rap about the same shit constantly. Yeah. Like, I do like other people's rap, but it's not, it's not like... I'm like, if I'm going to listen to rap, it's going to be Eminem. Just because, I don't know, I just like how he does it. And people are like, oh, he's so mainstream. I'm like, okay, well, that's not the reason I like him. It's because he is who he is. And he, like, he think about it. Like, he grew up just down the street from us. And now he's big time, and not I, fucking down the street, uh, well, like a few, <laughs> like miles, but well, probably like three hours away. How far is? It's only like a two hour. We live. We between, live about two we hours. We live from. in between BG and Toledo. That's pretty much where we live. So, if you want to look that up, go ahead. I don't care. Don't stalk me out because it's gonna take you to like Toledo, Italy. There's Toledo, Italy. Yeah, it's, well, it's there's a lot of Toledo. Toledo. Do you know there's a lot of Toledos? Like, it's not even funny. If you look up Toledo, you're not going to find Toledo, Ohio. Like, you probably will. Because Toledo, Ohio is, like, the worst city in the world now. Toledo, Ohio is... It doesn't even go, like, Detroit, Toledo. Now, like, it's seriously, Toledo's, like, one of the worst cities in the world. Toledo is... It's pretty bad. But, back to the music. I live in Toledo. Here you go. You're proud of that? <laughs> yeah, but you don't leave your house, so it doesn't matter. No, it's alright. <laughs> but, um... Uh, music, I don't know. What are we talking Yeah, music, alright. Eminem, I don't know. Eminem is alright. He's a pretty cool okay. guy. I go, ooh. Shout out to Eminem. I know, uh, mm, Nirvana. I can get into Nirvana every now and again. Yeah, so that's, that's, I guess, that's my rock. Um, well, I mean, you like know, I had to pick an uh, artist. I'm just saying, like, which one, if you prefer any of them, like, any, if you had to listen to one genre of music, what would you do? It would be metal. You, could you listen to Screaming constantly? I hate when people yeah. call it Screamo. If you call it Screamo, I don't give a fuck. If I have zero views, you can go to hell and get off my channel. 
And now he's gonna stalk us. <laughs> um, it's, uh, I don't know, I hate it when people call it Screamo. I hate it, it pisses me off. I love, I love metal. I go to Rock on the Range pretty much every year now. It's kind of like a thing. We're going to have to go. I'm going to have I'm, to go. Yeah, are you going to go with me? Cody's going. I'm going to have to go. Yeah, because I fucking missed it last year. You know, but that's I'm, because I'm broke as shit. And tickets are very expensive. We're, so. we're going front row, too, this year. That's $150 or like some shit like that. I'll be or maybe 200 But, yeah, like, Lamb of God was there last year. Dude, this old guy in front of me got so pissed because I was getting pushed into him and he was like, get off me. And I was like, dude, fuck you. Like, I just told him, I just told him, he like literally like probably 50 and he has white hairs and glasses. He has white hairs and glasses. He told me, he's like, get off. And I'm like, fuck you. And I fucking pushed him in front of me, pushed him into the fence. I fucking, I was front row for Lamb of God. That's not nice. That was fucking tit. That was the fucking, I was, I fucking, the picture of my Facebook. Well, I know I'm sure on that's all we all got out of the Lamb of God and I was standing there flipping off the camera because that was fucking awesome. I was fucking drenched in sweat because those high dicks. What, uh, I don't know, but if I had to listen to one, it'd probably be all rock, though. Because, I mean, like, rock, the, like, okay, remember the rock or metal or whatever can go, like, it, wide. It, yeah, it's, it's a, wide instead of... Very wide. Because, like, soft rock, you can go soft rock and then you can go, like, alternative rock and then, like, hardcore rock. That's what you like. That's like the deadline between metal and rock is hardcore rock or whatever. I don't know what it's actually called, but I'm pretty sure that's what. It, like, cause that means you can go soft all the way to hard, which that just kind of keeps me in the middle. Cause I love metal, but you know, not you not every day. You're like, I'm gonna listen to metal. You know, what I mean, like, if, there's no way if if you say you do that, that's, that's a lie. I've been. Cause there's no way you fucking get up every day and like I'm gonna pop in some fucking heaven trouble burning. I've been heaven trouble burning fucking band, though. Metal sense. It was a uh, my brother. It was back in I think it was like two thousand like five or six. Sorry. My brother. It was we were we uh, well every Christmas we always go to my grandma's house. Uh, well for Christmas Eve we go to my grandma's house and you know I go home wake up Christmas Day you know whatever back when I had a stable family. <laughs> but uh it's back when my mom and dad didn't get divorced. With the reason for it. But uh <laughs> we were driving back from my grandma's house and I was like oh I want to drive with my brother so got in his car and I'm like six or seven years old and he was listening to I don't I think it was like uh, Black Dahlia Murder and it was just like I got home and he's like I turned he was talking to my mom he's like I turned your kid into a metalhead and I was like yeah metal and I just wanted to be cool and then I just started listening to it and I was like oh shit no that's how I started to cause I listened to um, Heaven Show Burn for the first time and I was trying to seem cool in front of my friends or whatever cause you were there yeah and we were just trying to seem cool and then after that it got stuck in our heads. You kind of get into it and you're like, this is... This is like not this. so bad. Yeah. <laughs> and I hate it, but, but see, if you listen to it and anybody else hears it through your little headphones or anything, they're like, Screamo head... Like, yeah, they're like, like Screamo. No, yeah, and I'm, this, the only reason that is because we live in a country community. But I'm assuming... Whoa. But the only thing is if the school I go to currently is either your country or your... You think you're ghetto. Like, everybody... It's either you live in the country or you live in the ghetto. I'm like, you don't live in the ghetto, you live in fucking... Perrysburg, <laughs> you, you white fucking, I don't know, it just pisses me off because you're like, yeah, I'm ghetto. I'm like, you live in a trailer? Nah, man, I got a little two-story mansion. I'm like, yeah, you're fucking ghetto. <laughs> and it's not even, it's And not, they're all wearing Jordans and shit. It's like, like white trash. Yeah. It's very Dude, white you know, trash. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you this. I was going to post this on Facebook. But this guy like, literally said he got two new pairs of Jordans, which are fucking expensive now. I saw that. I and saw that post. I didn't post it. No, no, I saw the, who you're talking about. Oh, you did? Yeah. It's on my butt. <laughs> I heard some fucking kid at my oh, school I was like, I, oh, I got a new two new pair of Jordans. Oh, I thought you were talking and about And he's talking about how he's like so poor. He's like, yeah, I got two new pair. I got my pair of Jordans like last week, man. I got a new pair. Like, my family's so poor. I'm like, dude, you just got fucking two new pairs. And he had like, he said he got like a brand new jacket and like everything. I'm like, dude, you can go to hell. Like, you talk about how you're ghetto and you just spent like 200 and something dollars on shoes. I mean, I spent a lot of money on shoes that once every year and that's like tops like fifty dollars this is uh this is going back to music but uh what about what do you think about people who uh this bothers me this gets on my nerves when um people who like to listen to uh like blood on the dance floor and like black veil brides and they're like i'm so metal that's that? that's there's some metal that I just kind of hate. There's, it's that kind of metal that really just... My friend, it, those Black Veil Brothers that, uh, Rock on the Range. Ugh. Mm. I would listen to them from a distance because I, there was no band on at that time. Because mm. I was standing, I was standing in the stadium and they were on the side stage. So I could hear them because that's the way I was faced. Mm -hmm. And so I was sitting there listening to them and my friend, when I got back, she was like, 
oh, do you, uh, she's like, oh, I was like, yeah, I was just rocking there. She's like, oh, you see black girl, right? I was like, yeah, they fucking suck a dick. And she's like, yeah, she I know. Pissed. She's like, yeah, I know. I'm sure they suck alive. And I'm like, no, they just suck all the way around. Like, I, I don't know. I just, there's just some people who believe they're hardcore. And, and it's, it just bothers Like, I'm not saying I'm hardcore. And that's, you know, it's, I just, I think people who think they're hardcore are pussy. And it's <laughs> usually the, uh, females. Like to listen to black girl, but yeah, I like to listen to shit like that. I'm like, I don't care if girls listen to it, but if guys listen to it, and they're like, yeah, I'm so hardcore. I'm like, go yeah. listen to fucking like Heaven Shall Burn. Like literally, they're like one of the. They're not the hard. I've heard like Chimera or something like that. It's like one of. The, I've never listened to Chimera. My friend, who you know Jesse, mm -hmm. he he like he's in like really hardcore metal and shit. And he's I love him. Yeah, he's he surprised cool. me. He's crazy. <laughs> he's batshit crazy. <laughs> Good thing you listen to the bottom. I don't know. So it comes back up here. I don't know. Next time it comes up here, we need to chill with them. So you remember that... Oh, never mind. What's that stuff? I was going to say, you remember that Kill Switch concert? Uh, oh, dude, wait. they're going to be there at Rock on the Range. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to go. Kill Switch, Five Figure Death Punch, people like them. I can't wait. I want to see Five like, Figure Death Punch. Oh, this pissed me off. I remember I told you this when uh, my brother got to go backstage with Kill Switch and Trivium. Yeah, that's all the picture of him. Yeah, and he was like in front of their tour bus. Like they got, I was like, that's not that's not cool. It's because your brother makes lots of money, though. He does. Know? I, I didn't know like if he knew somebody or he just had enough money to pay for it. He just yeah, he that, bought it's like, in there. What? A, yeah, that's that kind of sucks. I wish yeah. that you like you knew somebody. Then they're like, oh, you're cool because yeah. you didn't pay for it. Yeah, like, oh, I went to high school with this guy. Now he's like, dude, I just bought my way into that. I feel like it'd be so awkward to sit there. Like, how's it going, guys? Oh yeah. Like, dude, I'd be so like quiet because I, I I hate meeting new people. I mean, if we became famous and people could start coming up to us, dude, I was sitting there working in my fast food restaurant today. And I was fucking sitting there in the window, and I was like, what if somebody came over and was like, hey, you're calm from Weezy Gamers, because they hear my voice, and I'm like, I'd be like, dude, that's no fucking, that's not gonna happen. I was like, then the next car came up, and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, Jimmy Hunter and them, they have people come up to them all the time, like, hey, you're Gus, or you're Gavin, or you're Jeff, or something, and I'm like, that's pretty cool. But then I'm like, I don't know, I don't want to be so famous, or you, everywhere you go, bitches always know. <laughs> they always know. <laughs> um, but mm. what band was that? My first concert, it was um the people who wear their masks. Not Slipknot, because Slipknot. That's uh, Hollywood Undead. I yeah. The song that always gets stuck in my head is Everywhere I Go, Bitch is Always Now, Charlie Charlie singing Scott O'Lee that he likes to show. And I just, people like, Hollywood Undead was a big fucking thing a little while ago. I, I couldn't. And it just pissed me off. The reason they pissed me off was the way they sing. They call themselves rock, but they rap. And they wear masks. That's and I'm like that's Slipknot thing. That's I, I can't get into the whole. I like Slipknot. Like good. the mask thing. I mean Slipknot's good. Slipknot's alright. Slipknot. We used to, I saw, saw Corey really Taylor. Big into them. Dude, I saw Corey Taylor for uh, Stone Sour last year. I don't know who that is. The singer of Slipknot and Cor and Stone Sour. I met a. So he didn't have a mask on because he was singing for Stone Sour. And I love him because I wanted to get the mask. What? Uh, <laughs> Shadows fall. Huh? The, at that Kill Switch concert, yeah, it was Kill Switch and uh, Shadows Fall. Shadows Fall and the uh, the uh, singer for Shadows <laughs> Fall, dude, he had dread down to his ankles, man. I remember you telling me that. Yeah, I was, that's gotta be fucking. I got annoying. a picture with him, and I was like, I don't know you, but you got some cool hair. And Ray was like, fangirling, like, dude, this is. Fun. I was like, I don't know this guy. He's like, oh, let's get a picture. And his hair. That's hair. Fucking weird. No, that's, that's weird. Right. I don't know. I don't know if I'd ever get a picture with somebody. If I didn't like think they're like amazing, like Heaven Shall Burn, if I got the chance to like go backstage with them, I would probably. Yeah, they like speak a German, German, don't they? They're German. Yeah, I think they are German. I don't. Do they they're speak, from some European country. Do they speak English? They're dude. Oh, I, I might be going to a concert of theirs in Mexico. The closest Mexico? they're the closest dude. They were in fucking Cleveland, Ohio, but mm. I was so like I, I was like kind of young, so I was like I couldn't go, and I didn't have enough money for a ticket. And Jesse was like flipping out about it. I was like, dude, I want to go, I want to go. And now the closest they're getting is Mexico. Ugh. Dude, well, I want to go on that metal uh, fucking ship where they play at metal concerts every night on the ship and they fucking tour like Italy and A shit. boat? Yeah. Like a, uh, fuck. Like a cruise ship? Cruise ship, yeah. yeah. There's, there's a metal cruise. The tickets are like outrageous though. I remember tickets to the Super Bowl were $2,500. The one. People were spending one ticket. People were spending on the just to get on the boat, twelve grand. No, no. I'm very sure it's twelve grand. There's no way. And then you had to pay for a ticket every night to the concert. But who knows? This, but this that, that can't be as big as the Super Bowl. Everybody knows about the Super Bowl. 
I never heard that's about here, this book. That's here, though. You go to another country, but you remember the Super Bowl? They're like, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is the Super Bowl? American football. I hate American football. Like, literally, if I would rather go see... If I get tickets to the Super Bowl, or tickets to, like, the World Cup, where am I going? I can't get into soccer. You fucking <laughs> suck. That's, can you get I, into football? Football's alright. I mean, it's... It's... It just bugs it's me. It's boring. Football's boring. Oh, like people, people. The only reason people like it is because they hit people. I just like watching people get hit. That's the only, I can't. Soccer does that too. I mean, that's the thing. Is soccer it takes so much more skill. Like, no, no offense. No, people I like know football, what you mean. It's but people like people can pick up a ball in. and run down the field. With the first yeah, ball. I mean, I mean, there's no doubt that like this foot shit is like way more complicated than just like carrying this egg and running. <laughs> but yeah, I, it. I think it's just like the physical aspect that people like about it is just getting fucking laid out. I'm like, we did because you're allowed to. But you know, yeah. you're not allowed to hit ball in the waist like soon. Like, you know, I hit people's legs, like, because they're like, oh, you're going to hurt people's legs. And I'm like, okay, so you're going to have to aim for, like, right here. Because you're not allowed to hit up here, because that's close to their head. And you're not allowed to hit below the weight. So, like, right here is where you got to hit. I want to watch someone get their head stepped on in soccer. That shit happens. With, like, I want, I want, like, pictures of, like, like the cleats against his face. That's not funny. I've had that happen. That fucking sucks. Fuck you. We should try that out. We should make that a video. We'll call so, it, like, I forgot cleat, what we'll time this... Stomping. I forgot what time this... All right, let me check. Intermission. Intermission. Checking the fucking time on the camera. We have 15 minutes exactly. Okay, I got gotcha. ya. All right. Wait, we, what? We got 15 minutes to talk. Um, fuck. This is this goes back to music again. <laughs> I'm okay to talk about music. I choked on my spit. I'm sorry about that. Um, do you want to talk about saliva? We. <laughs> what do you think about uh? Ew. <laughs> this is about uh like mosh pits, but. Wait, the wall of no, death. I want to no, be no, part of that. Wait, so when Didn't people do, mosh, if you get into a mosh pit and you're one of those guys who just throws his arm around and tries to punch people, that's uh, fucking dumb. Don't do that. That's that's. You're shit. literally brewing the that's, mosh pit. Like the first concert I ever went to. Was, people, it was people think they're always. That's what my my pit is punching in. Oh, it's fucking pushing. That's, that's all it is. Because I got to go see. Because seriously, there's so many people getting hurt rocking the range because people are sitting there swinging. If they even catch you swinging, they throw you out of the fucking place all weekend. So they have security guys like one. Of them? Well, like, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's a lot of people. Like, there. Yeah, that's it's like the third largest concert in the U.S. I want to go. Stop talking about. Um, yeah, I couldn't get in the mosh pit at era. My first concert, so I probably wasn't gonna go in anyway. But yeah, people just swing around. I saw someone get their fucking knocked out, and they carried it. They carried it outside. I got punched in the nose. You got punched in the back of the head once, didn't you? By Jesse. By Jesse, yeah, that's what I thought. They get poked out and punched me in the back of the head. What? What did you do? Being a dick. Did he get butt hurt? Yeah, he did actually. I <laughs> actually spilled his drink on him. No, he punched you in the he head. He punched me like four times in the back of it. Mm. It didn't even hurt. Like, I don't know, like my adrenaline was rushing and it didn't hurt. Like, I was just, it was more upset, like, like, you know how, like, if your family member hits you and, like, is pissed at you, you just, like, you don't really feel the pain, but you just kind of, like, oh, like, that. Like, like how oh, my feelings? If they hit you harder in the feelings than they do in the head. It's, that's not to sound gay, but it's <laughs> true. It's because, he, you know, I grew up, that's how I grew up. My, my parents were divorced when I was a young age. And it's like, you always thought Jesse was cool and they hit you, and you're like, oh. Like, I didn't even feel like, and, like, legit, I cried because I was just kind of like, I was right young, though, place. so you can't tell me. Uh, he just graduated, like, a year before that. So that was... That was a long time ago. Yeah. I was still living at my, like, old, old house. The first one? I don't know about that. Um, Second was, one. But it was, one of my, it was at my brother's graduation. That's how old So, yeah, you were, like... I was young. Like, 11. So, and, you know, I grew up, my parents got divorced in, like, fourth grade or some shit, but my, my parents got divorced before years, right? Yeah. Years. So yeah, it was like a little while after that, and you know I grew up with my brother Sean Sunshine, who's now in the army, and Jesse. It all is my family. What? What's he doing over there? He's good. He's not out there yet. Oh, he's not out there. Is he he's, still like? He's training? he's only been out. He's only been in the army for like six months. I don't think he gets. Holy shit! Was this a going away party that long ago? Yeah, I didn't think about that. Holy that was like in the shit. summer. I can't even like. I think. Right? I don't remember anything between summer and now. No, it wasn't. It was warm out. It was during school. It was, it was like the beginning. I remember the beginning little, of the school. Year. It was a little chilly outside. I remember that. It was a little windy. What the fuck were we talking about? I don't know. But, Kid um, hitting the field. <laughs> I hate that. No, but like seriously, like I grew up with my brother and his two friends. Every weekend they were over from Friday because they were all in the marching band, right? So they all came up 
Friday night right after the football game, which is when I, I was with them the whole time during the football game, and then they would come over until, like, late, late Saturday night because they were, like, I don't give a fuck because <laughs> they had that kind of asshole. And, you know, growing and my mom works 12-hour days, so I grew up with them thinking they were, like, my family, you know. And then once that shit happened, you're just kind of like, it's kind of like having you betrayed. It's kind of like your dad punching you. Like, oh, like but he's you, big. <laughs> not what it meant. <laughs> like, and so Jesse's not. Jesse's yeah, but, he, but he's 6'5". <laughs> okay, that's but it's like <laughs> emotionally, that's what it's like. It's like he's like actually pissed at you, not, oh, huh, 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 like, yeah, fucking, I'm going to kill you. joking around like you spilled my beer. What the fuck? Like, no, like, they, they're so drunk that they flip out and he wasn't drunk. But I'm just saying, like, it's like, it's like an angry out. drunk. If you did, yeah. I'm not saying Je- Jesse was nowhere close to me because he was no. like 18. He was drinking at 18. No, he was not drinking. Oh my god, he broke the law. <laughs> Shut up, he was Good not drinking. God, I'm taking him. <laughs> I'm calling the police. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. He's like 23 now. <laughs> oh Jesus. I know this no, he's guy. Probably like 24. I know this guy who drank beer three years before I was allowed to. You, you gotta go. Go talk to him. Yeah. Hey, like how old yeah, is he now? Like how old is he up. now? And he's like. He's like, when was this? It's about six years ago. Oh, shut the fuck up and hang up the phone. <laughs> uh, that's that's pretty much probably what it'd be like. Probably. I don't know, but I mean, how was it? Like, you remember how I found out about my parents' divorce, right? Yeah, you said it was like really shitty. Yeah, but you remember? Mom, I was with you. You said your mom picked you up from my house and was like, "We got to go get your brother." Yeah, I remember? Cause okay, this is how it went. I was at your house because she like. I don't remember how I got over to your house. I don't know if I asked her. She was like, oh, you should go over to Max's house or Max's mom. Ride your bike. What? What's that? I miss riding bikes. Because we could just go whenever. Because we lived in the same town and you'd ride like, oh, let's ride bikes around. Yeah. But, you know, like, we used to be like, hey, like, oh, I'm going to go over to my friend's house. Because mm-hmm. you're like my closest friend because I've known you forever. And uh, I went over to your house and then the next morning we woke up and I don't remember what the I think we're probably playing go get to my And your mom was like, oh, your mom's here. And I was like, okay. Went outside and I was like, why are you picking me up? Like, because, you know, normally we'd hang out all day, and then i go home, even after we stayed the night. She's like, oh, we're going to go pick up your brother, and, I, and we're going to go look at a house. And I was like, what? And then she's like, yeah, me and your dad are gone. And I'm like, oh, what? okay. And, you know, you got to remember little. Like, yeah, it was... And you know what's sad is a year before that, they just got remarried. So, thinking a year ago, they just got remarried, what the hell are you supposed to think about yeah. after that? So, my parents, you said this is in fourth grade? Probably. Yeah, then my parents got divorced the year after because it was uh, fifth grade. Because I remember I moved to Perrysburg in sixth grade, so it was the year before. Yeah, because you didn't know if you were going to go to Eastwood or not. Yeah, I was fucking scared. I didn't want to move. I love that house, but I remember. Yeah, dude, that house. I love every single house you've lived in. Is that sad? Like, it's, I miss your old house, dude. You had the biggest fucking backyard. That was cool. That was. Why well, have a big yard now? But backyard. it was just yeah. like we could like my back of it dropped down. Like yeah, so there was like a little like. It, it, was, it was complicated. But um, I remember fun. coming downstairs, my mom told me, you know, you can cry. <laughs> like, what did I do wrong? And then fucking, I remember she let me shoot her in the ass with my airsoft gun. <laughs> she, for some reason, she thought that would, like, make me feel up. She's like, do you want to shoot me with your gun? I was like, what? And then like, you just kind of like, like, yeah. no. And she's like, I feel bad. And I was like, uh, okay. But now you then I couldn't bring myself to pull the trigger, and then I eventually did. So like, I remember the time you were shooting the plant at your house, and it fucking climbed. Mm. I had this thing out on my front porch. It was, uh, it was one of those hanging. Yeah, plants. it was like a hanging pot, and we were just we used to shoot at it with airsoft guns, and it was really thin plastic. And you know the, pe- the airsoft pellets go right through it. And the one day we were just we were like, oh, you know, we got done shooting it. And he's like, all right, let's go inside. And you, like, I had it cocked. You had it cocked, so like you turn around real quick and you shot it, and then you turn back around as we're walking in, it just goes Psh, and fucking breaks, and I was like. Then we went back inside, oh, and your mom comes in like two hours later, and she's, she's like, like, "What? What happened, what happened to the plant?" And we're, and like, we're like, "It, it exploded." We have no idea. We were out there, and it just. Psh. And then she's like, "I found BBs. I don't care. I just want to know." Yeah, and she's like, like, "That's that's fine." She's like, "We got you. We got you an airsoft gun." They're like, "Yeah." yeah. And she's like, she was really cool about it. Yeah, though, she's so. like, "All right, okay." So we're starting to wind down. Man. <sighs> Give us speech about a search. Do you like our shirts? Yeah, I don't know. You, Lydia? Did W3G? Yeah, and then the gaming the friend. I can't everything. remember what it says in Mac. Friend. No. Oh. <laughs> I can't remember. I like the shirts, though. The red. It's my favorite color. That's why I did red. I, I'm like, not lying. That's why I did it. <sighs> Running out of shit to talk about. If you guys do like our page on Facebook, go ahead and type, put stuff on there for us to talk about. 
because we give us suggestions, suggestions, suggestions. Because I can't talk. I mean, this. I mean, have as many as you want before like Monday or whatever. Because you know we record these earlier than that. And I mean, yeah, you might not see your question answered until like three or four weeks after that because we probably are way ahead of where you think we are. Mm-hmm. But after that, we should have everything answered. Um, our shirts say W three G on the front, on the back it says We Three Gamers definition, and then it says We Three Gamers, and then the uh, actual definition says One says gaming, two said friends, three says entertainment. You like them? <laughs> Alright, so like Boom. our page, like our page, give us suggestions. Uh, please tell people about our channel. We're Spread struggling. We're struggling to get off the ground right now, and we up. really appreciate. I know this video looks like ass. So oh yeah, we recorded in three twenty p these videos, but that's because we can get the sixty minutes out of it. If we recorded in like seven twenty, we'd only have like fifteen minute videos. So yeah, even in HD, because this camera has the HD quality, which you can <coughs> see like face perfectly but the only thing is you could record for nine minutes and no yeah it was nine minutes and then the, yeah. like the 480 was like 15 and yeah then we had like then 320 was jumped up to 60 yeah, well, and i was like okay well I mean, it doesn't really matter about the quality i mean yeah i mean dude, i'm gonna tell you, like you can't record in hd for 60 minutes i mean it might take up a lot of space but if you record fucking 10 no no six of the hd videos you're getting one equal to one of the 20 yeah yeah, so why... Video, but we still have a couple minutes. All That's right. why I wanted to wind down early. Alright. <laughs> but yeah, please spread the word, because we're struggling. I and watch a lot of, uh... watch a lot of, like, famous YouTubers. They do, like, the drama out life videos, and they say, oh, it started off, you know, like, have, like, one subscriber, and they're, like... I mean, these people have, like, thousands of videos now, but they said it just, like, it gradually, like, picks up, just keep putting shit out, and it'll pick up eventually. And I'm like, alright, that's why I was thinking about it. nobody likes these videos. You know how sad they I've seen like some them. shit YouTube channels before. And people like them. Like this one, her channel keeps asking. No, dude, seriously, I've had I've asked people to give us like feedback. I haven't heard shit. I'm scared. I've heard people say that our YouTube is great and everything, but I don't know. I mean, if you like it, please tell your friends. My mom told me it was cool. If that counts for anything, no, my mom doesn't. I think that I think that puts it back down the drain. Oh <laughs> well, in that case, my mom said nothing because I didn't tell her. <laughs> okay, All well, right. well, thanks for watching. Xbox. See you guys next video. Thank you for being our guest today. PlayStation 3. Oh, yeah, sucks. we'll have guests sometime soon, hopefully. Ooh, yeah. We'll hopefully probably have a third guy, at least. Yes. I don't think we're going to add four people, because that would suck. Not add four that people, but add two more chairs. That would be way too We'd have to back the camera up and get a wide angle. And you'd barely see us. Probably oh. barely hear us, because you can barely hear us now. Yeah. All right, so, yeah, we really need to go. We're going to wind down. All right, so, go. Like, do all that shit. <laughs> see you guys. Goodbye.